So, shall we get on with it? We're rolling. Here we go. Join me to hear from the biggest names inside and outside politics. Sunday with Laura Koonsberg. Sundays at nine on BBC One and iPlayer. Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Arunodaya Mukherjee. Let's get you the headlines. Armenia says more than 28,000 people have fled the disputed territory of Nagorno-Karabakh. The U.S. asks for access. The U.N. defends its Convention on Refugees after the U.K. Home Secretary calls it outdated and in need for reform. A judge in New York rules Donald Trump committed fraud by exaggerating his wealth. Joe Biden visits striking car workers in Detroit, becoming the first sitting U.S. president to join a picket line. And joy for China, they make history, winning the first ever esports gold medal at the Asian Games. Live from our studio in Singapore, this is BBC News. It's Newsday. Welcome to the program. A refugee crisis is developing in Armenia. With more than 28,000 people fleeing the disputed enclave of Nagorno-Karabakh, it follows a military operation last week by Azerbaijan to retake the region following months of tension. Internationally, Nagorno-Karabakh is recognized as part of Azerbaijan, but for decades, ethnic Armenians have controlled large parts of the territory. Our correspondent Sarah Rainsford has more from the border